Good day. Welcome to King Wilma's Everything. Today we're going to play another fun game on the Game Boy Advance, the pink one. Today we're going to play Rock'em Sock'em Robots. You might remember this. For some odd reason, they thought it would be a good idea to port it to um, a video game. Because it's, uh, you know, you get the feel, the real feel on a video game playing Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Uh, what was fun about this game, the real game, was, you know, you get your controllers and you're punching each other. And it kind of made fun because, you know, you're playing against a real person. And, you know, you get to knock their block off or whatever it was. And their head goes boing. And they did that with a video game. Actually, it's a pretty good game. I played it a couple times and it worked really well. And it's a fun game. I mean, you know, for what it is, I think it's all right. So we're going to play it. And then you can judge for yourself whether it's good or bad. Let's fire this bad boy up. Oh, there we go. Game Boy. Rock'em Suck'em Robots. Come on. I thought we would play it. Maybe not. Let's try it one more time. Maybe not. I think she wants to be a jerk. There we go. Okay, I got it to work. Had to insert a few times. There we go. So let's play some Rock'em Sock'em Robots.
All right, so that was Rock'em Sock'em Robots. And you kind of get a good idea what it is. Um, it's fun. I mean, if you like the uh, the game, you might enjoy the video game. And it's worth picking up. You know, the Game Boy Advance stuff is so dirt cheap. Um, you can get these in, you know, go to uh, uh, pawn stores, sell a lot of this stuff. You might get lucky. Or on eBay, or you can go online and find these guys. Um, game Boy Advance, um, some of it's starting to get a lot harder to find. The DS stuff everywhere. But you will find these guys around. So if you're looking for Rock'em Sock'em Robots, get yourself a copy. Have a great day.